Hello, I'm Zardus. Sit back, relax, and grab some coffee as we build in Manor Lords. This game is in early release or early access. Uh, it is not out yet. I think there's two weeks until it gets released on uh, Steam, but I'm able to give you some early preview uh, to it. Thank you to the publisher for that. But uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at it today and probably do a few more videos on it as well because it is really great. It fits my style for city builders quite nicely. But first, before we get to any further, we want to discuss if you are in the market for a new PC, be sure to check out Apex Gaming. It is linked down below it they have great pcs and yeah check them out so anyway we're gonna go to new game and right now we're just going to create a character this isn't a huge part of the game but you can click and it generates a new name and we'll just go with um how about ot yep so that is our person we can change the coat of arms for our town and i'm going to go with a castle or tower on here and you can even change the number that appear and then the scale as well so we're gonna do three towers on a blue background and you can also put your own stuff on there and then save your coat of arms it's really cool the functionality that you can do we're gonna do to uh rise to prosperity as the scenario that we start with because that's really focused more on uh, town growth and stuff like that and we're going to go ahead with uh, growth we want to reach the large town to win and i'm going to go ahead and do a present off map adversary so we can do a little bit of trading and i want them to be reactive so they're not going to attack us but if we attack them they will uh, fight with us right now they don't have ai opponents available on the map itself they are off map only we are not going to have raiders or bandit camps i'm not really going to focus on the military side of things too much yet because i mean i i don't think it's fully there yet it needs to have the ai uh, opponents on there but and i really want to focus a lot on growing the the town itself everything else we're gonna have be pretty much the standard that it gives us so let's go ahead and begin all right and the first thing you'll notice about this game is the graphics are just plain incredible i have paused that so that we're not looking too much but you can zoom in really close here and there's just like so much detail in here and yet we have a pretty good frames per second, actually. I just went up to the corner to show you, but it doesn't show. That's from the Steam overlay. I'm at about 30 or 40, which, you know, isn't super great. But I have things on the highest level settings. And for a city builder, I'm quite happy with that. So anyway, we're here. And let's see what the message is. Yep, we are here. We want to grow to large town. Very good. I do have tutorials on, so some things will pop up just because I haven't quite gotten a ton of time in the game yet. So I want to have reminders as well. So they need food and fuel. But what we want to do, we're going to zoom out really quick and see what we have near us. We have berries, so that is good. We can get into that right away. Iron over there, stone, wild animals over there. We can start to do red is our current territory. And we also have clay over there. And then there are resources elsewhere. That's off map. That's off map. This is on the map. So we could expand over in here at some point and get some more stuff over there too. But what we want to do is really focus on getting our village started. And this first year, I don't think I want to worry about a farm yet because we really we're not going to get things growing fast enough. We're in the spring already and we have many other priorities to worry about. So I'm going to go right into a logging camp so that we can get logs to build stuff. Uh, but first, I think I want to build some roads here. Well, actually, look at that. We, we're on a, a little bit of a hill too. That's really interesting. Okay, so I'm going to assume that going up the hill is going to make things harder. Let's figure out where our water is. So water, we want residential. We're going to go to, well, actually we can go over here. Underground water. We've got water over in here. So we're going to have to build out that way. Yeah, so actually we're going to come back to that. 
And I think what we want to do to begin with then is to get a logging camp over this way. Maybe this forest we will keep building on. So if we left click and hold and then drag around, we can rotate. We'll go ahead and build that here. So they're going to get started on that pretty quickly. And then what I want to do is go to road and we can click on this and then just drag it right down here and it will build a road that connects to things. And then we can go to the next thing and it will just build the road right around that and then double click. We go up here to build. Yeah, go ahead and build that. And then I want it to come over here as well. There we go. So it comes right over there. And then we've got our the start of our road there. Yeah, we want to look into fertility and stuff like that. But we also, the other thing we need is right away we need a forager hut. We have berries over here. So we want to be sure that we are gathering berries right away. And we don't have, uh, we haven't built anything. I, at some point we're going to uproot these trees essentially. So we're going to go ahead and get that in there. We'll get a road out this way too. Click and then come right in here and that can go there. So we're going to unpause and right away the up here you can see we have five unassigned families. They are going to immediately start working on construction and that's what I want them to do to begin with because I don't care that they work on other stuff. We do have some things in supplies that sitting out they are going to get ruined so we want to come to logistics and we want a granary to begin with we'll go ahead and put that over here actually by the food and I have snapped to roads on so now that we've got some roads we can build along the roads and we'll get a warehouse here as well and so that will allow us to get things stored right away so we've got a building built. We have the storehouse is completely built. I'm going to go ahead and assign a family to it because then they will move anything that can go into the storehouse in there right away as opposed to if you leave it uh, without a family then eventually like stuff the the logging camp will eventually put their stuff in there but the other stuff that is over here won't get put in there but if we click on here and go to people now you can see that these people are transporting things to the warehouse. Okay, and the granary is done too. I don't think we have any. Oh, yeah, we do have some bread. So we'll go ahead and assign a family to the granary to get that delivered as well. But I don't want to have anybody assigned to them permanently because we don't have very many families yet. And we want to be sure that we are uh, utilizing them for things that our village really needs. So, for example, now our storehouse, I think we've put pretty much everything in the storehouse that can go in there. This storage, it's really just like one log, I think. We're going to go ahead and unassign the family there. Our forager hut has completed, so we're going to assign a family to that permanently. And then pretty soon the logging camp will be good and we will assign somebody to that permanently too. Our granary, they're almost done getting all the bread in there. But the next thing we want to do is we want to get them some houses. So houses are actually very interesting. Yeah, you use flexible borders. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to click and then we'll come over to about here. And then we'll come up here like that. And actually I want this to be a pretty big lots. So I want that. We're going to need eight timber, though. So we're going to hold off on that until we get the, the timber. Yes, so I understand roads. Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that in a moment we get a family here on the timber, on the logging camp. But the grain, granary is done, so we can take a family off of the granary and get a family here on logging. So that'll be good too. And in fact, we have four families. We could get more on some of this. The The berries are growing. So we should see people out getting basket. Yeah, they're foraging already. Let's go ahead and get two families on that so that we get lots of stuff. And then I want two families on the logging camp. So for now, we are pretty much fully loaded on getting logs and berries. 
Okay, we've got about nine timber now, and of course it's getting dark because I think it's going to rain soon. But we're going to go ahead and come in here now, and we can, again, tell it we want to build a plot here. I'm going to go back to about here. Ah, no, now it wants 12 for that. So we want to go ah, 10. It's got to get the right amount here. Yeah, see, it's not going to let me do that. Ah, but if we reduce it, then we can get four here and they get a little bit more space and we only need eight. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then our one family that is available or like unassigned is going to start building those homes. So we can go ahead and let that run then. Okay, so we've got one house built, which is real good. People will move into it. And you can see up here now we've got living space for one and that we're building three more. So that'll be good. And then like we want to have living space for a bunch that will make them happy. And eventually that will help get population growth in there. Right now we have no population growth because the approval is low. But if we click on the house, we can see we've got no water access. They don't have anything else they need. So we're going to go ahead and queue up a well and... Like we said before, we need to have a well over in here. Go ahead and put it right here. And then of course we can get a road from there and we'll just bring it right up here. And that'll be our direct route down to that well. We've got a hitching post here, which is just our, our stable. We put our ops there. We have space for one. That's not uh, too bad. And then also we can look at some of this other stuff like a marketplace we want to get marketplace and i think what i want to do is put the marketplace over here close to the well so we're going to build a plot like this and just go like this it'll get plenty of market stalls available there you can go ahead and build that and then okay yep very good the foragers will come in and they can come in and they'll create their own stall in here to sell their berries to any of the villagers so that'll be good and then i'm hoping that these plots are big enough that they will start to grow a little bit of their own food as well here we can do backyard extension yeah vegetable garden let's do that so they're going to have a vegetable garden this one i want to do they're going to have a chicken coop. This one isn't built yet, but that hopefully will allow us to supply some more stuff. They can open up their own stand as well in their free time, and it can be like their, their side gig. Okay, this third one is ready. We're going to go ahead and give them... Uh, we don't have enough wealth, so we can't add more stuff to anything else yet. But I'm very happy that these ones, I mean... This one is doing a vegetable garden. They can do some of that, but again, they it looks like they don't have the wealth or we don't have the wealth. I'm not quite sure on that mechanic yet, but we do have, they're doing chickens. So that's what we want. We want them to be working on the chickens. We have a food stall here. They're selling the berries and bread. Or somebody's taking the bread from the granary and selling that. But I'm mostly interested in getting these uh, housing plots up. So now we've got all four houses, and the thing is that now we are using fuel, which means up here you can see we only have three months. We're running out of fuel, and so that's why we don't have enough time. But we uh, actually, at some point we need to get firewood, and I think we can now, how much lumber? We've got 22 timbers, so we can take a family off of that, and we'll go ahead and put in gathering... We want firewood, which is woodcutter. And we're going to put that over here. So, and I right clicked. Left click is the one we want. We'll go ahead and put that over here. And we'll get the road out farther this way too. That can go all the way out there. And then as soon as this is done being built, we will assign a family to that. So now we will start producing firewood to help keep that fuel up. Each house uses one food and one fuel, I believe is what it says up here. You have one food and one fuel per month, and then they use two fuel per month in the wintertime. But now 
can see we are producing some fuel and that is going up. Pantry is full. So we want to take another family off of the forager hut and we'll find a new thing for them to do. So I think the family that we have available now, I want to put them out on wild animals. So we're going to create a hunting area out here, gathering, and we want hunting camp. And I want that. Yeah, we don't want to have it in there. That will make them leave. But if we put it here on the road, then hopefully they will go and hunt from there or like go and go in here and get the wild animals. If we build too close to that, they will leave and then we won't be able to hunt there anymore. They'll have to go somewhere else. But I want a road to there. So what I want to do is come in here and I think I mean, we've got the, the well here. Let's go ahead. We've got kind of an intersection here. We'll just build like that. So that's going to go straight through the woods. And that will be the first thing that we have like a road that we build out on as well build in that direction so we need more houses right now we all plops are available or like used so yeah we can come in here that's the marketplace we're gonna go ahead and queue up some more housing here so that we can get more people in here and i'm going to come along like this and like that that's gonna use 12. i want the houses to go like that and yeah be nice and long so click on that and we're going to start building those, but I don't want to build all of them. I want to build one at a time. So we're going to pause all of these, but kind of reserve that that is where we're going to build houses there. So only one of them should get built right now. And then as people move in, we'll unlock more. The hunting camp is finished, so we'll come over here and assign a family to it right away. And then they're going to have to travel all the way here because their homes are over there, but they're already out here hunting, and hopefully they'll get some meat, and then we can go from there. Hunting, hunting, going somewhere. Did they get something already? Generic storage, yeah. Look at that. So hopefully they are starting to get some good stuff. They're getting hides and meat. Very good. So this is probably the hides and that's the meat. What can we use the hides for? Oh, look, our settlement level has increased. So we are yeah, development point. We're getting more houses. And so now we should have approval level is low. What are they mad about? Market variety. I mean, that should be going up and we should start to get more stuff. Uh, this one, you're not supposed to be building yet, but Okay, I guess they're, they're going to build that one. I must have missed one. Not a big deal. That'll give us a little bit more stuff. And then we can come here and we can start to figure out some of our production too. I want to double... Yeah, let's see. Right away, I want to focus on... What is this one? New building is a firewood cart. Not a big deal. Okay, got it. And then, yeah, I want to focus right away on forest management so that has doubled our berry deposits and that should make this even better so that we can forage even more so now this plot is done i want to also see can we get this now no we still don't have enough wealth to do anything further but we do have a firewood stall and a thing in there now can i how can they get a stall in here at the very least they are producing vegetables and doing something with it and then i wonder if did this family move over here yet no they're still living closer to the well which at some point we could get another well closer here are they they have water access so they're close enough to it and then they just need to walk over there market supply i wonder if it's too far but for now, it's good. Um, and then we're also we're getting that meat and stuff. Very good. So it says low population growth. So we will be growing and we're getting we have level one families. I'm hoping that we get another one at some point so that then we can uh, start to do more disease. Yeah, people, if we don't have herbs, which 
Um, I think maybe that's through here. No, I'm not sure where we get herbs. We'll have to figure that out too. But for now, all of that is good. They're working on stuff. And we've got supplies going up, fuel for seven months. That is good. At some point, we're going to need some foresters to uh, replant some wood and things like that. But I am happy to be growing into here. No storage space left for production. So the hunting camp is full. We really need another person to work over at our storehouse to bring stuff from here. I guess we could put a family here. Oh, a new family started moving in. So yeah, we've got another one coming in. Perfect. Okay, so we've just had a family move in, which is great. And now we can come in and we're going to go ahead and unpause another one of these burgage plots so that we can get more coming in. And what I want to do now, we're getting close to winter. And so a couple of things have to take place. One, I want to come in and I want to get a field built so that when spring comes around, we are all ready to go. And we've got, I was just looking here, we've got barley, you know, rye fertility here, which rye I think is going to be the wheat that we can grow. So I want to just come in here and get a nice field like this. And that's going to be our field, which is really good. And then, yeah, I understand that. And we're going to come in here and we're going to get a farmhouse. If this fits, yeah, it'll fit here. We'll put the farmhouse right there. And in a little bit, when we have families, well, I mean, I guess we won't have anybody working there yet. But when spring comes along, we're going to get multiple families there. I'm hoping that over winter we'll get some more of these built and get more people to move in. So we're going to go ahead and speed things up a bit and check on how much supplies we have. We're doing good. Let's come over here. We've got one family on cutting firewood. At some point, I hope to get another one, but let's go ahead and skip ahead. Okay, that completed. So I'm getting the next one going as well. I'm just going to do them one at a time. And then we're going to start to see more people move in. We do have low population growth, which is what we want. And at some point, I mean, they're going to work on this farmhouse probably next because I I think that, yep, they're working on that now. But we won't have anybody there. The next thing I want to build, though, is I want to come into trade. I'm going to get a trading post. And I'm going to put it here because this is a pretty big major road going through here it goes out to this trading area and then it eventually i mean also goes out that way but i think having it somewhere around here is going to be useful or maybe even right here would be good now let's go ahead and put it here so that'll be an important thing too and we had another family of joins so and now we have seven let's go ahead and get actually I think we're going to be fine. We can get several of these open because we can uh, apply more people to the firewood. Firewood is the biggest uh, barrier that we have right now. So they can build all of those. Farmhouse is uh, um, in progress, but we'll go ahead and skip ahead again. And while this is all going, there's another cool feature of this game that I just remembered. I wanted to show you. If you go up here in the top right corner and you click on the eye, we can walk around our village in the first person view and you can hold shift to go faster, but you can see this is pretty cool. And you can't go in the buildings, but you can walk all around the whole thing. And it's just really cool to see everything from this angle. And also it's just, again, the game is just so beautiful. It's incredible. So yeah, that, that's one thing about this. And as we approach winter, I mean, we're in October, it's about to be November and then it'll be winter. Our berry deposit has gone down because it's not growing anymore. So what we're going to do is come over here and we're going to take the people off of the foragers and I'm going to put them over in the woodcutter so that we can start to store up more firewood as well. So we'll go ahead and stay in a really fast speed. We've gotten more houses built and the farmhouse still hasn't been finished, but that's all right. We have currently 
10 homes available and only seven families here. Oh, now we've got eight. Very good. So that'll get another family moving in. And then uh, what I want to do is just add more people so that we're like, get more people in so that we can get things like enough firewood for the, the winter. We might put another family on that so that we have plenty. And in fact, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we've got three families working on firewood so that we build up way more than we need. We've got food for 30, 33 months. At some point, I want to get families over here and then we'll set the field to wheat so that we can they will plow it as soon as the time comes. But really, I want to get these homes built. And now it is winter, so they are using two firewood per uh, month for each of them, two fuel per month. And so we're using that firewood more, but that's okay because we've got, like I said, three families working on that. We have had another family move in and we're getting close to getting all of these built. And that'll be a good start for this. And then we can get, hopefully they'll get the farmhouse built pretty quick. And in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and set that to high because I, I want them to finish that so I can really get this set to here. We're gonna go to wheat. Wheat, the fertility is not great here. We're gonna go ahead and rotate here. Wheat, wheat, and no, I want wheat here, and fallow the third year. And hopefully that will all work out well. But what I'm hoping is that we'll be able to get some wheat there, there, they got that built. We're gonna get two families here. They're not gonna have anything to do really for it right now, but as soon as they're able to, they will start to plow that. And that will be really good because I want to get the, the seeds in the ground as soon as spring comes along. And we're done building now. We've got 14 homes and only nine families. So now the next thing they do will be the trading post and then we can start to get some trading done. So our general storage is full of logs. We've got a ton of logs. And so what I want to do is I want to do a couple of things. First, I want to get a saw pit in so that they are turning those logs into um, planks, which will be a little bit more valuable in trading. And the other thing is I want to get a forester's hut set up so that they can start to be a little bit more sustainable here. We'll go ahead and put that right here. And then eventually we'll get the families in that can work in those spots. But the next thing I want a family on is trading. So let's talk about trading really quick. If we go to trade, we can come in here and we don't have any stone that we can, where we don't have any planks that we can trade right now. But we can come over to, uh, let's see, food. We have more berry, berries than we need. I'm going to go ahead and set it to export. And then I'm going to set this to, we want 100 berries. And we can go ahead and export meat as well, but not until, I guess anything over 25, we will export meat. Eggs and other stuff we aren't producing enough of that I don't want to do that just yet. But some of these, I think, yeah, we can't go down there to get that. We have firewood. And we've got, actually, we have a lot of firewood. Let's go ahead and export that as well. I want 150 as the surplus there. And commodities, uh, we're not producing any of those, so I don't want to do that yet. So that's all we're going to do for trading. And so what we've done is we have a person who, or a family, they are going to come over and they're going to trade. They're going to transport stuff to the trade being post and then they will occasionally go out and uh, export stuff and so that will get us gold into our regional wealth and when we get that regional wealth we can use that to buy livestock or just to you know like we did over here we have the vegetables uh, plot on this burgage and then we've got uh, chickens here. We can add more of those things, which will produce more of those goods as well. But for now, we are continuing to just build out. I think we're working on the forestry now, and then we'll get, get more going. 
Okay, we had some trading take place and now we've got a bunch more wealth here. So I'm going to come in here and we're going to go ahead and start to get some more things in here. We'll get a goat shed, which is going to provide more hides. And then we're going to go ahead and do another vegetable farm here. So they are producing more stuff there. And then we'll go ahead and start to get some of these in here. We can't, we don't have quite enough to do another chicken one. So we'll wait on that. But then we also, the saw pit finished constructing. I'm going to go ahead and put somebody on there. Yeah, we have nobody available for construction work, but I am going to set this construction reserve. I want at least 50 logs just sitting around ready for us to use. But the forester is going to go around and planting new things. Oh, and now we had a family move in, which is good. And then at some point, I want to assign somebody to the hitching post and they will be responsible for moving the ops in around. And we've survived winter. It's March now. And so the, the farm is getting plowed. And so they will start to do uh, farming soon. We do need to get more families. We've got space for 15. We can get three more in here. I really want to get them on farming. We have two families right now. But the more we have there to work this field, the faster they'll be able to do it. And then the more time can be spent growing instead of time spent plowing and then sowing. Not the best fertility field, but it kind of was the best that we have available to us at this point. Now, I do want to maybe figure out where else we can put some more burgage plots. And I think what I want to do is bring a road in like this around the trading post. There we are. And then if we come in here, we can get some more plops in here as well. we'll come along like that. And bring it up all the way there. And then see what it can come up with. It does not like that spot. Okay, so we'll have to do this a different way. Let's go ahead. Oh yeah, because we've got that building there. That is the well. But we'll come along here. You can see they can get really big here. That's kind of what I was hoping for here. Right there. Why didn't they not want to do that? We have the cost. It just doesn't like the lot sizes, I guess. But you know what we have control over? We can come in here. Let's try that again. Like that. Except I want to reduce the plot divisions. No, that didn't work. Okay, so we're going to do this a different way then. Instead of going along that path, I think what we'll do is we'll get another road out this way. And actually, I kind of want to bring a path around the well like that. And then we'll bring a path along like this too. Okay, now let's see what burgage plops we can fit in there. Yeah, so that will work a little bit, maybe. No, it still doesn't like me. Okay, we'll try a different way. Sometimes, I, I feel like this system is really, really awesome. But it also is proving a little bit difficult. So I'm dividing it out now. We're going to do a little bit at a time. We'll get four in there. And then I want to do some in like this. Yeah, that'll work. We're coming along that road there. And then see what we can get here as well. This one, it's not going to like as much. That angle is just a little too much, I think. Ah, uh, but here maybe. Nope. See, it's weird. It looks like it's going to work and then it fails. So we'll just leave it like that. Can we maybe get another well down there? We can. Look at that. We could get another well here and then we can provide. We're providing more water. And they still have to go over there for the market, but we're in good shape. And we've got a ton of regional wealth now. So we can come in here and we can get. We're just rotating through here. Chicken. Goat. And we're going to leave it at that for now. But now 
we also we have more people so we want to get more people on farming they've already sowed those so that's really good let's go ahead and get two more families on that and then oh we have to uh, shoot time has gone by so fast because i was uh you know letting it go but we're gonna come over here and get some people on foraging go ahead and get three families there they will start to forage those berries and get them in the supplies very quickly and then the last one will come in it in here and work on building more of these burgage plots but i am a little concerned i guess we'll be able to store all that wheat here in the farmhouse that'll be not a big deal we are going to need at some point soon we're going to need to get a uh, windmill and then a oven to work on that as well but for now that's where we're gonna leave it so we have made good progress today I'm really excited with what we've done and how this game is going be sure to click on the video on the screen now it will be another Manor Lords video if it is out if not it'll be a, a video you will thoroughly enjoy I guarantee it thanks for watching and I will catch you next time take care